We're dealing with some record heat this afternoon and another yeah. reminder that true fall is still a ways away. We've got a tropical threat lurking in the Western Caribbean area. And you've also given us two first alert weather days. Yeah, and they're all related. We're watching those days, highlighting those days as days that could potentially locally see some impacts from that tropical system. Uh, next on the list is Helene. And now right now it's it's just a thought. It's not a named system. It's not a tropical system. It has yet to, you know, get the qualifications to be deemed a tropical system and given a name. Nonetheless, our, our big fancy computer models, the data we look at in the weather center that meteorologists look at across the country, projecting out into the future, very keen on the idea of this development and we could see impacts Thursday into Friday, both with widespread heavy rain, isolated severe weather, and depending on landfall point and how strong, how organized the system becomes, could also be dealing with uh, some inland breezy to windy uh, weather across North Georgia. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. None of that going on today. 92 in Atlanta, 96 in Carrollton, 88 in Thomason. Keep in mind, high temperature today was 97. Uh, previous record was 95, so we kind of blew it out of the water. We broke that record, set a new one today. High temperature at Hartsfield Jackson, 97 degrees. Mid 70s tomorrow morning in the city. It got so hot. We have so much pavement. It's going to be harder for conditions to cool this evening and overnight tonight. Get outside of I-285 though, and it's a little cooler. Upper 60s to near 70 in Covington. Same in Griffin, Rome 68, Carrollton 67. That's the coolest point of the day, mind you. We'll start warming up even by the latter half of the morning commute. 9 a.m. approaching 80 in a couple of spots. Green light though, no issues. View clouds, dry forecast. Uh, not really much of a setup for fog tomorrow morning either. Either. We will warm up quickly, though, uncomfortably warm upper 80s by noon, 92 at 3 p.m. 6 p.m. We're still 90 degrees, so not the 97 we had today, but we're still going low to mid 90s tomorrow. Partly cloudy. Your rain chance is less than 20%. Shocking numbers here. Normal high temperature is 82. Forecast tomorrow in Atlanta is 94, so 12 degrees above average. Getting close to records, but uh, hopefully tomorrow's will hold. A little cooler up in the mountains. LJ and Helen, both in the mid to upper 80s. Tuesday, they could notice more clouds still hot, though trending just a little bit cooler. 20% chance of a shower or thunderstorm. A couple of showers and storms around Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday. We are really going to be watching the, the back quarter of the work week here as whatever forms in the Caribbean lifts northward. Right now, the National Hurricane Center is giving this particular area of storminess an 80% chance of tropical development could develop in the Western Caribbean, could develop in the Gulf of Mexico, basically anywhere within this red polygon. We could could see our next tropical system form to give you the idea a general northward movement hour by hour forecast. It's a mess now. It's not organized, hence the lack of a classification and a name. But watch what happens as we go into the work week. It lifts northward out of the Caribbean and into the Gulf of Mexico. By that point, likely a tropical storm or hurricane. This could become a pretty significant system, but exactly where it goes, how strong it becomes. Still big question marks with that. It could be anywhere really in the Gulf of Mexico, but inland impacts wherever it goes, a possibility. So just keep an eye on the forecast. So keep you updated right here going into detail. AF plus at 8 p.m. And you'll get updates through the week as well in the first alert weather app, Connor.